Alright, hello mga kapatid, kamusta? May tanong ako sa iyo. Uh, may makilala ba kayong mga taong mahilig magkwento ng buhay ng may buhay? Masyadong self-righteous, kala nila sila lang yung laging tama. Kumbaga yung mga chismoso, mga chismosa, ba? Diba? Mahilig mamuna ng uh, problema ng iba, ng dumi ng iba, pero yung sarili nilang, nilang problema, hindi nila mapuna-puna, ba? Diba? So welcome back po again rito sa ating uh, munting channel mga mahal na kapatid, kamusta po kayo? So sa ngayon po atin naman pong pag-usapan or atin pong panuorin itong video about sa mga psychological things that can make us least attractive. So mahalaga pong mapag-usapan ito or atin pong mapag-nilay-nilayin mga kapatid dahil ito po ay isang napakahalagang factor para po sa ating pagkapwa. Uh, pagbuo ng connection sa iba mga tao, maging sa pagkakaroon ng mga business partners, pag-achieve po natin mga pangarap, mahalaga po ito mga kapatid. So, kung bago ka rito sa channel natin, na sana huwag mong kalimutang mag-like, mag-comment, mag-subscribe, at pakiclick na rin ang ating notification button ha. Nang sa ganun ay una at maging updated ka po kapag may mga bago po tayong mga uploads. So, once again, Maraming salamat po sa inyong patuloy na pagsuporta po rito sa ating channel. Alam ko po na uh, kayo pong lahat ay talagang masugid na taga subaybay ng ating channel ano. And mula sa aking puso, maraming salamat po talaga. Asahan niyo po na patuloy po tayong mag-upload ng mga uh, informative videos ano na chak at sigurado po ako makatulong po sa ating lahat. So, so yun po atin pong panoorin ano pero bago po 'yan Uh, hayaan po muna natin ang ating uh, maiksing intro mga kapatid. Once again, naway makatulong po ito sa inyong lahat. Maraming 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 salamat. Salamat po and to God be the glory. Do you know that how you behave has a lot to do with whether or not people will find you attractive? The funny thing is that most of the time, What we do that makes us unattractive is done subconsciously. According to Healthy Way, if you're finding yourself having trouble meeting people or you're striking out over and over on your dates, you may be unintentionally sending out a vibe that's actually making you appear less attractive. No one wants to be seen as unattractive, right? So, in today's video, I'm going to show you seven psychological things that can make you less attractive. If you have been wondering why people are canceling on you during dates, this video is for you. If you're new here, consider subscribing to see more awesome videos like this one. 1. Complaining too much Absolutely no one likes people who complain. Don't meet anyone for the first time and complain about something. The sad thing about this habit is that there is no end to things to complain about. There is always the weather, even if the weather is good. There is always the good old government, always passing policies that seems to favor no one. It is bad enough if the first impression people get when they meet you is a complaint about something. If they interact with you over time and realize you will always keep doing it, a lot of them will likely leave. According to American entrepreneur Omar Zayed, we all complain, but complaining and come up with a solution is different. When you complain without any solution, or have not taken the time to think of a better result, that tells me you are lazy. This also tells me that you are not a fixer, but just incompetent. There are always things we still want to be fixed. There will always be something to do. But your approach towards this makes all the difference. People who complain are always negative. They complain about how bad everything is and yet do very little to change it. Staying around anyone like that can even be toxic. No wonder people find it so unattractive. If you have this problem and you want to be attractive, quit complaining. 2. Being a snob Who likes snobs? You? Him? Her? <laughs> Probably nobody. There are some young people who don't like talking to other people because they think they are not in the same class. Taciturn people are not categorized as snobs. They're simply people who don't speak a lot because of their personality. Snobs, on the other hand, don't speak to a certain class of people who they see as inferior. Snobs will not talk to some of their co-workers. They may also ensure not to invite those people even if they invite the office. 
People like this have an aloof attitude towards life and will not be able to hide their disrespect for the choices of others they feel are mediocre or look down on the dress or even behavior of others. From interacting with them, you can see clearly that they are condescending. Snobbish behavior is super unattractive. It applies to both sexes. There are common rules of courtesy that demand politeness to other people. Snobbish people don't care. People who have this habit are also often proud. And people generally don't like hanging with proud people. 3. Always interrupting others No one likes being interrupted halfway into explaining something. This makes people who interrupt people very undesirable. Some people just snap at people who do this. It's, however, not the best strategy. According to Psychology Today, it's infuriating, but getting angry isn't the best response. Instead, be firm, gracious, open, and recognize when you are the problem. One of the ways you can combat this type of behavior is by listening more. There are many things you will learn from others if you actually just paid attention. Cutting people short in the middle of what they are about to say is not just an unattractive behavior, it is also seen as rude. Note that doing this once in the course of a conversation is not necessarily enough to get people annoyed. If you interrupt someone and then apologize and keep quiet, they may not get angry. But if someone is speaking and you interrupt them multiple times in the course of their speech and they end up sounding incoherent and being unable to complete what they were saying, you can be sure the people will be furious. Remember that interrupting others shows that you think your opinion is superior to that of others. Naturally, no one likes people who think they are better than everyone else. 4. Being mean Being mean can actually make you less attractive. When you're mean and unkind to others, their first inclination will be to avoid you. And people generally don't like the people they avoid. You can even pass across as a snob when you're mean. It is really not a good idea to be mean to people. According to Psych Central, on the question of why people are mean, because people act out their anger instead of first experiencing it internally. They react from the primary impulse of the anger, which always wants to be mean and aggressive. You do not need to be in a therapy to work on your anger. This means that self-control is a potent way of resolving this issue. Everyone gets angry over stuff but some people choose to let go of their anger while others don't. You have a choice to make. There will always be things you are not satisfied with in life. How you choose to deal with it is entirely up to you. You can choose to binge watch your frustration away. That's one way to go, although I don't recommend it. You could talk to someone or you can write in your journal like me. 5. Constant Pessimism Don't make people label you as a negative person. There is nothing great about it. There are people who kill off other people's ideas and disbelieve everything. They are pessimistic that they are even uncertain of their own lives and assume only the worst likely outcomes in all things. They are one of the most unpleasant people to be around. You should be positive as a normal person, but some people are just not. Pessimism ensures you never excel beyond your current status quo. It is also a self-fulfilling prophecy that will continue to attract those worst outcomes that you think about all the time. Imagine being friends with someone who does not believe that you will succeed because of present factors which for some reasons appear insurmountable. Will you be happy with the person? People who are like this are unable to keep this behavior from their relationships. They don't end well too. Stop telling people that their pursuits are pointless. Just because you have failed doesn't mean someone else will. Just because you feel it is pointless to try doesn't mean that it is. Many of the times in life, we create our own fate. There is absolutely no one fated for poverty and failure, only those who accept it as their lot. Succeeding at anything requires hard work. Don't assume the odds are against you simply because you have to work hard. 6. Lack of Confidence this is a big turn-off for the ladies. You just can't afford to lack confidence. Confidence is key in interacting freely with others. If you don't have confidence, the chances are that you will not be able to express yourself freely or participate as freely as you normally want in events. There is no alternative to confidence. Unfortunately, you are either confident or you are not. 
What you can do to build your confidence as a person is to focus on your area of strength. What are you really good at? It's totally okay if you don't think you're good at anything yet. It takes time to figure out any lasting solution. Be open-minded and cheerful. It will come. Don't feel cornered because you are surrounded by a lot of confident people. Instead, see yourself as a unique individual on a personal journey that no one else would ever understand. Learning self-awareness at a young age can help with confidence. When you realize that you don't need anyone to approve of your goals and dreams to feel fulfilled, it does wonders to your confidence level. The more self-aware you are, the more confidence you will have. Practice affirmation daily and write out clear goals. As you keep meeting your targets, your confidence levels will rise. There is actually nothing that beats self-actualization when you meet all your targets. Don't forget to breathe. You are a champion and that is all that matters. 7. Inconsistency People also find inconsistency unattractive. It is like blowing hot and cold at the same time. People don't want you to act charming today and completely uninterested the next day. Not that people's opinions matter, but then consistency of behavior has a way of making you feel more stable to everyone around you. Imagine if someone suddenly developed a crush on you and then you noticed and start talking to them and then stop suddenly without warning. According to the quote addict, inconsistency is unattractive as hell. How are you going to treat someone like they mean something to you one day, then act like they don't exist the next day? When you get into a relationship with someone, you must always be able to rely on that person regardless of whatever situation you guys might find yourself in. You have to always be able to depend on your partner no matter how easy or difficult things might get. So, the thing is with people who are inconsistent, other people can already tell that there will be no type of future with them. They are rich enough even before an actual relationship starts. This is why you should be careful about the impressions you let people form about you. Free will in the relationship Do you feel like you do things more out of compulsion rather than free will in the relationship? Did you buy him a car so he wouldn't throw you a tantrum? Did you agree to date him so he wouldn't say hurtful things? You really should evaluate your relationship. People you hang out with influence you more than you know. You deserve confident friends who are pursuing your dreams and not those who leave off others and use pity as a weapon to drag others into the mud. Remember to watch out for these signs. You deserve to be happy.